up, you guys? Marty Schwartz here with Marty Music. It's great to see you again. Thank you for hanging out and supporting Marty Music. Uh, I'm going to teach you some Stevie Ray Vaughan right now. Uh, we're going to have a lot of fun, hopefully. And just remember, you know, each little piece of this is a blues lick that you can add to your own arsenal. I also have a bunch of blues lessons, courses, free courses even, at Marty Music. So I'll leave a link in the first comment down there. But let's zoom in and break it down. Here we go. All right. These are just awesome blues licks. So even if you play them in a different order or don't get them exactly right, now they're your own blues licks. So don't be afraid to let this be inspiration to you. We're in uh, half step down tuning, E flat tuning, and the song is a blues in G. So you'd have like a G, the one chord is G7, G dominant. The four chord is a C. 7 or C dominant, also C9 up here, and then you have the turnaround, which is D7 to C7, back to the 1. So that's good to know because because the intro especially, um, that all is really playing over that G7 chord, and then when it goes... That's over the C7, so he's very much uh, using those little chords as events to play over. He doesn't always do that, but for this intro, it's definitely doing that. So, I'm sliding up to the fifth of the A string. And then there's two ways to do this little, it's kind of like a little classic bass line. I'm, for me, it's just comfortable because I'm going to go into... So I stay in this position, so I go up to the 5 on the A string, then 2 on the D. So that's outside of the minor pentatonic. And then I'm hitting the root, which is the 5th of the D. The other way to do it, and it just requires two positions, and he might be doing it this way. Just slide up with your index to the fifth on the A, and then seven, and then five on the D. Same thing. I'm choosing it to, to do it right here. And then now I'm going. And so I'm basically, you know, it's all just outlying a G7, but I'm covering the third fret of the G, B, and high E. And I'm, what I do is I hammer to the fourth of the G while still covering these three. And then ring finger covers the G and B of the fifth fret after that. So from the slide, back to that hammer up to the fourth of the G, and then we grab that root, which is the fifth of the D. And if your thumb's around there, and you're in a power trio mode, you can get that in there if you need to. Now, from this position, he goes, jun, 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 and it's this really great dominant chord. You could call it a 13 chord. And you can play barred across, and you can get the uh, D string in there, too. So you bar across the third. This is a G13, and it can be played instead of a G7 or instead of a G9. And he does it right here, a little, jun, jun, a little stab. So... You barn across the third, you know, I'm thinking of the root is G. So it's barred across three, four on the G, five on the B, and you're still getting that high E in there from that index bar. So 
So yeah, you just do two. Da da. Because because then it goes into the C, the C chord riff. So we got the G chord riff. That G13. Then I'm just going from 8 to 10 for the exact same thing I did for G, now I'm doing for C. So you want to visualize that C, sh that little C position right there across the 8th fret, and you got... Exact same thing as G. Add the things in between. Right? So just know that you go, it slides right into it. And for those stabs, he goes up to a C9 chord, which can be substituted for C7. It's just across the 15th fret. You got 15 on the A string, and then ring fingers on the 15 from G, B, and high E. But the index is 14 of the D. So just some more stabs. Da, 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 da. So C9. And you can use this in any 12-bar blues on your own, you know? You can... Put these ideas into it, it's going to work. So, just like that. And then we get to that classic Stevie Ray Vaughan blue shred. And that's all, you know, we're really thinking of it as the classic G minor pentatonic. There's going to be some other flavors in there, but the, the skeleton or the, you know, the roadmap is just that classic G minor pentatonic. So the first thing we do is we bend the fifth fret of the G. And I'm kind of thinking of like my ring and middle finger kind of glued together for, for strength. I mean, it's the ring finger note. Right? So we, we bend that, 5th fret G, and then 3 on the B, 3 on the high E. Like that. Classic blues lick right there. Right? So... And so what's going on there is I'm hitting the 6th fret of the B to 3rd of the B, just right from that pentatonic, but I'm giving it a little, that little micro nudge. So, so this is one of the outs, the notes that's not in the minor pentatonic. It's called the nine. And it's the ring finger on the fifth fret of uh, that high E string. So after this, the index planted on the three and I do a hammer on pull off or a little flick on that fourth fret. go to the 6th of the B, back to the 3rd of the high E. Right there, 
I'm going to grab my ring finger up because I'm going to bend, and I, I don't bend with my pinky. So I'm going to bring my ring finger up to the sixth fret of the high E, middle finger behind it for strength, index behind it when it can be for strength. And I'm bending that up a whole step. You can see the pentatonic shape. Just put my ring finger there, and these are behind it just for strength. It's still those two notes of the scale. So it's up and back, and then I gotta get my index back to the three, and I'm going three high E, three B. So. So. Wah, 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 wah. So then I'm going into the classic G string bend. So it's a whole step up bend. Then I'm going to be bending the third fret of the G up a whole step. And however you can do that, I'm using my index finger, just one finger. And my elbow's going up for, you know, just for digging strength. <laughs> uh. So, wow. And then two times on that root, then three on the G, back to the root. Just classic blues stuff. And then it does goes up to the five chord, the turnaround chord, which is a little D7 thing right here. And so it's three, four, five, and then that little triangle shape. guys thanks again for uh, watching the lesson I hope it helped I'm gonna add more uh, Stevie Ray Vaughan licks uh, in the near future uh, let me know uh, if you're ready for that in the comments below uh, also just thanks again for supporting Marty music which is the only thing I do and uh, just want to thank you so see you later I gotta keep on making it keep making keep making